Welcome back to the third map between Egocentric and Area 51. This is the Yodelcast. I am your host, Doc Lettuce, on the camera. Doing the main casting for us is Apple Juice. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss it off to him to get rid of all the pregame introductions as we are about to get underway. Okay, once again, for the final map, as always, uh, Area 51 is on Blood Eagle, and their roster is as follows. Crazy George, Kudos, Awawa. 99 War Chief, Slapaho, Brick, and Titan. On Diamond Sword, we have Egocentric with David Bowie, M Star, Sweetness, Ben Folds, the QHP, Xanther, and Acronym. Um, you know, the maps went pretty much as we expected. I did, uh, did not expect Egocentric to cap twice on uh, uh, Arx Novena, which ended up being 5 2. For those who haven't seen that yet, it was 5 2 on Arx Novena, and. 5-4-1, sorry, on uh, Catabag, both in favor of Area 51. Uh, but both score lines did not really reflect the game so much as, as, as I thought, as it looks like M-Star is still not back yet for Egocentric. This could be a problem. They're playing a man down right now. Um, Brick actually running uh, as Infiltrator for, uh, for Area 51, just trying to distract Sweetness, who's literally the only guy on the flag stand right now, and he's going to be taken down by Crazy George and Brick. Yep, there he goes. So Flag Sand completely free. <laughs> oh, there we go. Amstar's finally back with his caps lock. I guess he didn't have time to, to turn it off, but, you know, teach their own, I guess. And, uh, nope, he's stopped moving. Oh, there we go. Now he's coming back. I haven't seen any cappers coming in from... Oh, there we go. Here comes 99. I guess he got sniped or something, but, uh, he wasn't going anywhere. Quick, he has a very odd route. I haven't seen this. He's going very slow. I'm not moving very fa very fast. David Boy and QHP are also behind that base. I don't know what's going on with that team. But uh, here comes 99. Oh, Brick actually picked up and then died to sweetness, and the flag drops to 99, who's getting away with 105 health. Uh, snipe shots are missing right now, all three of them. And he's all the way back to his base. Benfold's trying to come in for the E-grab, doesn't as uh, Fly Carry gets sniped, and Warchief is able to pick up Captain making a quick 1-0 in the first two minutes. For Area 51 now, QHP and uh, David Bowie try to time their caps so they're coming at the same time. David Bowie at pretty much full health gets hit though. While on the flag, sent down to 36 health, not going very fast. He had a uh, low to high route and did not get far at all. Didn't even get to the high part of the high as QHP comes in from the back. Brick not paying attention as QHP grabs it going over the hill. He's down, gets sniped. Flag does drop, but Ben Folds is there. Oh, flag bounces off the rock and off right onto the cliff there. Like, in the middle of the cliff is Crazy George is there for the return. No, gets taken out by David Boyd. David Boyd dies to uh, Warchief, and Warchief is able to return flying in from the side. That was an odd sequence of events there, but uh, well done by QHP. Just just waiting for his turn to grab the flag and uh, taking advantage of uh, Brix's inattentiveness. But, uh, yeah, this, this score should be 1-1, honestly. Yeah, that was some uh, great play there, actually, by QHP to pick up the flag that was there in the field, and he was going relatively fast. Uh, the flag had a lucky bounce after he got sniped, landing back on his flag side, but apparently rock physics don't apply to flags either, and it bounced very bizarrely. And, uh, well, yeah, as you mentioned, that's an interesting, it was just an interesting little sequence there, some good play from both teams, a little bit of luck and then unluck, so I guess it evens out in the end, and... We're still tied with our, well, tied. We're still stuck with our 1-0 scoreline. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching uh, Warchief. I guess he's playing offensive Pathfinder now. Not sure what he's doing. But, uh, seems to be doing a good job as the uh, flag stand is completely clear. For, uh, or Egocentric's flag stand is completely clear. And Crazy George and Brick have essentially owned it. They're trying to take out Sweetness right now. Uh, and trying to distract Xanther is 99 and Awawa are both coming in. Uh, this time from opposite sides, 99 coming in from the high side of Awawa, from the low side of Awawa. We're going to grab first, going 320. Wow, I have not gotten that fast coming from that route. He's going to bounce off the rock. Yep, he's using the rock bounce. Unbelievable. Using the rock bounce against sniper shots, missing. He's down to 206 health, though, uh, going 200 kilometers an hour. There's nobody on him. He has a lot of protection back in his base, and there's 2-0. Yep, 2-0 for Area 51. Uh, one thing about this map is it can change on a dime. You know, momentum can swing and your team can be down 3-4-0 before you realize it. And on the other hand, you can be up 3-4-0 and suddenly it's tied five minutes later just because uh, you weren't paying attention or you 
weren't reacting to what they were doing, and they took advantage of that, and boom, that's what we're seeing right now, is it's 2-0 in five minutes. Uh, both Dave Bowie and uh, Wawa are crossing each other. Dave Bowie uh, doing a low to high route. Nope, looks like he's going to continue moving on and do a little back to front work there as Kudos is on a sniping seat. Spree, surprise, surprise. Um, he's currently situated behind the base. He did snipe QHP as Warchief is now in a strike and he's just waiting up yep, there. We go. They spot David Bowie and he got taken out by Warchief on the fly. Sam Cruz in a strike. So there, I think uh, Area 51 is probably going to take this now that they have a strike already. I don't know what the costs are. If it's 40,000, I don't know how they got the score for that. Uh, credits already. are pooled. Oh, yep, yeah, but it's... Not, well, they might have... Well, it might be 32,000 with wheel deal. I think it's 40-something thousand base and then 30-something with wheel deal. I could be wrong, but if it's only 30-something, they have pooled credits for it. Okay. Well, then then, then we know why. So, But his strike is uh, at about half health. He's trying to do it a little distraction. He kind of blows it up, actually. Not a great job there, but... Uh, Sweet is trying to stay alive. It looks like he switched to Raider. Yes, he did, just because he was being killed so much. But he is taking out. Oh, 99 hits the uh, hits the uh, tree right there. It doesn't get going very far as a Wawa comes in from the left to right or low to high. Excuse me. And uh, with 412 health, does rock bounce gets taken out by Xanther. It was beautiful uh, as the flight carrier was moving literally in the same direction that Xanther was lined up with. So it was. Uh, you know, no side-to-side -side movement necessary, only up to down. As Brick does pick it up, gets sniped again by Xanther. Nice moving snipe there, and he's there for the return, keeping the score 2-0. There was a fly grab on the other side, but didn't get very far, and uh, Warchief is there for the return. Kudo still standing behind the flag stand, uh, doing a pretty good job of spotting and sniping there. Um, Awawa sitting there, probably waiting for uh, his team to give him the go-ahead. His 99 tried to do a little slow back to front there. Uh, got the chain down, snipe down. Whatever you like, and uh, wasn't going anywhere. Brick suicided. I guess he wasn't going very far as uh, Ben Folds was there to attack him. David Bowie trying to do a back to front route. Had good speed, but not a lot of health. And he got taken out. Acronym there to pick it up, but Titans on him. He gets sniped and chained down. And oh, Ben Folds also picked up. Tried to drop it off to QHP, but no dice. His Titans there for the return. Um, keep the flag back at his flag stand. It was a good idea, but uh, flag toss wasn't there this time. They did have a really nice flag toss between QHP and uh, David Bowie, I believe, on Catabac. Uh, not, la not not this match, but uh, when they're doing their TWL match against 57th Squadron, they had a very nice coordination there. This time, no dice, and honestly, QHP wasn't going fast enough to really make any difference. Uh, Kudos is going to be able to snipe him down in two quick shots before he got past that little bunker there uh, with those, uh, I don't even know what to call them, gas containers. And while it did, did grab the flag for Area 51, didn't get very far, though, and the flag is sitting right next to the second generator entrance. Um, his 99 is there to pick it up as a Pathfinder. Yes, he is a Pathfinder. 543. Uh, nobody on him. Xanther not making his sniper shots as Awawa is now there to s support him. They could make this 3-0. Now he has Brick as well. Warchief and Crazy George are all around him. There's only Titan and Warchief on the Area 51 flag. As David Bowie comes in for the E-grab, does get it. Uh, he's moving away with full health. Good job by him. Nice clutch grab there, and he's going to get all the way back to his base. There's no way. Kudos is in the wrong position to snipe him. And we're going to have our first standoff as 99 drops the flag there. Uh, I think he got Nitron as QHP there for the return. Oh, tried to shoot it into him. Didn't get there. Wawa picks it up. Uh, David Boy on the other side dropped the flag. Flag is there. Oh, picked up again. I guess he had Nitron to pass away or something. He's down to 266. Going to have to pass it off to somebody in Wawa there with 900 health for Area 51. Uh, Sand just behind the base so he can't be sniped. David Bowie throws it to sweetness. And yes we do, we have our flag. First flag standoff. Both teams opting to stand. Uh, actually no, Wawa's sitting reasonably close to the base. Just a little bit to the left and sweetness holding it um, in that little hill behind the base. So both teams you know, sitting reasonably close to the base making sure that they they're there in case it gets returned to Wawa now stand on the base with 900 health as a Raider. I'm not sure why. Yeah, there we go. He passed it off to Titan um, so he can heal up and do all that jazz. As ben Folds, David Bowie, and QHP all Pathfinders, I believe. Let me just check that. Nope, Ben Folds is an Infiltrator. Again, I'm talking before thinking and checking and verifying. But uh, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to continue to do it. 
and that's life. They do have a jammer, or uh, Area 51 do, does have a jammer pack out to make sure that the uh, infiltrator does not work. So smart move by them. They realized what was going on. QHP tried to get a midair uh, nitron, but uh, it didn't work. Uh, the, although, was it Dave Bowie with the other side of Nitron? Yes, it was, but there's nobody there for the return, unfortunately. As uh, the Infiltrator was a non-factor. Um, Sweet is picking up the flag for Egocentric. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, sitting there. Passes off to Xanther. It seems they like to put... Oh, they're standing all the way on top of the hill now. That's, that's an odd. I've never seen that before. They're standing way up on the hill behind their base. Uh, I'm just making sure that... Anybody coming is going to be burning all of their energy so they can change them, or chain them down as they're coming up the hill and then uh, just nuke them with whatever splash damage weapons they have when they run out of energy as uh, QHP again trying to get that lucky Nitron bounce. We did see a standoff on Catabatic earlier that Egocentric won and did get a cap off of it. In fact, it was their only cap, I believe. Um, and it was this sort of situation where they had, you know, four people or four people on the flag is Brick. I'm watching Brick coming in. Nope. Nope, they're not going to do anything. Santa is there with a lot of help. And they're able to chain people down. It's crazy. George did kill him. Um, but there's, again, a lot of people around. They're not going to get anywhere. But as I was saying, uh, Egocentric did a good job of just holding on to that flag. Area 51 changed up a ton of their attack to try to just do anything. They had an offensive sniper, some burst spam, and and uh, Infiltrator, and then they switched to the Pathfinders, uh, and then they switched to Raiders, and they are just doing everything, and Egocentric was able to hold onto the flag and get that lucky Nitron or two, or coordinate well enough that they are able to uh, get the return and get a nice cap off of it. So, what do you expect to see on this, uh, on this one here? Well, I'm not a huge fan of where Egocentric is setting up, because he's, as you can see, Crazy George is set up they, they can start on top of that mountain, and then they can come down if they're going to be staying more down towards where I'm looking on the camera now, where their inventory stations are set up. Um, they're also fairly far away from the flag, and it's not hard to get to the uh, enemy flag on this if you've respawned. So, it's a really risky strategy. It's very, very defensive, and honestly, at this point, they need to be offensive. I think they need to go with the three defense and four offense. That's an interesting concept. I mean, I... I... I agree with you. I'm not. I'm not sure they need to switch to. Oh, as of course, as soon as I say that, the flag gets returned in quick three zero. I, did you see what happened there? Uh, I had my eye on it. Yeah, I didn't see exactly what happened. It was just a uh, simple kill. Uh, Xanther was going very low. Uh, he didn't have time to toss it off to anyone, and there were just too many people there. Uh, because the egocentric offense was so weak, because they didn't send an, they didn't send that many people. Uh, Area 51 just reacted by sending more, and they just simply overwhelmed them in the end from what I could see. Yeah, if, if you do send more offense on and you do it first and you're able to get that uh, get that first kill when you send four or five people, it's not a bad tactic. You know, if, if it's taking a while, just send a, you know, uh, a large number of people if they're not sending a lot. If you think you can hold it for one wave or two waves and uh, hope that, that your risk or your gamble will pay off and Area 51's did, I guess they, I mean, obviously they capped as uh, Brick is grabbing as a Raider with a thousand health right now, uh, being sniped, uh, he's down to 820, 700 now, being chained down by MSR Benfolds and Xanther right there, he throws up in the, f I guess he was trying to throw it at Wawa, Wawa's going the wrong way though with 300 health, not sure why it was necessary to pass it off to him, but what do I know is he gets actually stopped by the uh, legs of those uh, ships there. Um, tries to pass off 99, but Dave Bowie's there for the return. So well done by the offense, actually, of Egocentric there, helping out their defense a little bit as uh, Ben Foltz is waiting for his cappers to give him the go-ahead so he can go in and distract and do a little bit of his work. Uh, unfortunately, their flag, the uh, Area 51 flag is inside the race, so there's no, and the uh, second entrance, actually now it got returned, sorry. But uh, yeah, there was no way they were gonna, that uh, Egocentric was going to be able to grab it while it was there. So that, I think they were just waiting until until that got, that got returned as, uh, man, the two Raiders from Egocentric are just getting demolished by uh, Titan and Warchief. Although Dave Bowie is able to get away 222 health. He's doing a low to high. He's about halfway home being chained down now. Sniper shot misses. He's still 223. He's got to be careful here. Oh, hits the uh, tree wrong and gets stuck in a corner. He's down to 170 and there's far too many people. He's going to have to try to throw it 
does not get the throw off in time at 99 there for the return. I'm sort of surprised he tried to go for that tree bounce there. Um, risky move and it didn't really backfire on him as Awala does a low to high as well for Area 51. Punts it to Brick, bounce, flag bounces way up high and Brick's there for the grab with full health with Crazy George near him and 99. Ben Fold's there trying to get the return as a Pathfinder. Uh, gets sniped down by Kudos and it's going to be a 4-0 unless, unless uh, Egocentric can do something special here. Nope. Nothing happening. 4-0. 10 minutes left to go. I think a 5-0 is coming. Uh, absolutely. I'm going to go and say that again. Um, the Ego David Bowie is doing some really nice solo capping and, and the clearing is okay. Um, but he, their flag is just off the stand so much at this point that it's really hard to actually get that cap off. And I just don't see them, them doing it at this point. Uh, because Area 51 is just playing very solidly and it's working for them. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and predict another 5-0. Another 5-0? We haven't even seen one 5-0. Yeah, but I predicted it beforehand, so I'm going to, I'm just saying I'm predicting it a okay, second time. Okay. Uh -huh, and I'm happy okay. to be proven wrong. Well, David Bowie is going and there's... Oh, he got hit by the base turret as he came around. That's a shame. He had uh, actually full health there. The flag stand was clear for uh, Eocentric, but uh, that's that's the break sometimes. Those base turrets, if you don't keep the generator down, will bite you in the butt as 99 has a back to front going here. 173 health. He's almost back to his base. Acronym trying to kill him. He punts it back to his base. Titan there. No bounces away from him. Flag sitting a little bit to the left and to the back of their base as Wawa picks it up uh, with reason, uh, pretty much full health, I'll say. And uh, he's behind the base now trying to get to it. It is 4-0. He's waiting and boosts. No! Oh, gets blasted away by a grenade and boosts back. It's 5-0. There we go. 5-0, 3-0. Area 51 takes it. Yep. I think at the end there, I'm, I should have seen another one or two people there from uh, Ego Center crash in the stand. I think we only saw four, so plus their sniper, that would have been like five. I don't know where the other two were, but, you know, Area 51 is just a really, really solid team. Egocentric is still a team, a bit more in transition and learning, and uh, they were missing a couple players tonight. Maybe they didn't have their optimal lineup, but, uh, you know, it was a f solid showing from them. Uh, they certainly showed us a couple things we didn't expect, and they gave us a really tight match on Catabatic despite the 4-1 to scoreline. So props to them for giving it their best. They did pretty well, um, but as always, kudos to... Area 51, I hope you see what I did there, uh, for... Kudos, kudos. Exactly. No, good job by Area 51. They played very solid throughout the night. Uh, I hope this preparation is very good for them, and uh, best of luck to them in their NASL game. So once again, everyone, I am Doc Lettuce. Joining me was Apple Juice. You have been watching the Yodelcast. Thank you, as always, for your continued support. Please leave any constructive criticism in the comments. And uh, as always, have a good night.